Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous lesson, we have demonstrated the bare minimum code to get a cute window on the screen. But it is too simplistic to serve a model for complex applications. To make the things easier, we are going to compose a basic application template. In the future topic, we will refer to this template. So make sure to create it exactly as specified. Now let me create a file, click on new and specify cute underscore template dot pi. Now import the following libraries. First one is sys and from PyQt pi import Qt widget as qtw also import from pi qt5 import qtgui as qtg next from pi qt5 import qt core as qtc so this and all the three important libraries that was required as we already explained in the background of PyQt. And coming to the sys, I'm going to use the sys to provide the arguments to my queue applications. Next, we will create a main window class as follows. Class main window and inside the main window provide the inheritance which is widget. And inside that, just initialize with self. df underscore underscore init underscore underscore self. Now call super dot underscore underscore init underscore underscore of parenthesis. Always remember to call this inside your child class constructor, especially with the Qt classes. Failing to do so, the super you that is a possibility that you might lead to errors. So make sure you create this. Now inside this, now whatever the widgets that we're going to do, we generally we will try to add all the widgets below this. And finally, you can end up the main UI here. Once you end this main UI, then finally what we will do, we will do the self dot show. Okay. And this is what a simple main window class. Now what we will do, let's finish our template by writing the main execution code. F, F underscore underscore name underscore underscore. That's going to be equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore. Then what we will do, we have to create an app that's going to be equal to qtw.q application. And since we need to provide the empty arguments, and you can provide the arguments with sys.orgv. Now, main window is going to be equal to just call this class main window. And next, just provide the sys.exit and run the application.exe. So that's it. So this is how we can able to create a Qt template. Now let's run our program by type python qt template.py. Now execute this and here you go. We got the same exactly the same program that we created but this is quite useful template because in the upcoming lectures, we are going to follow this kind of template. I will see you in the next lecture, more on this. Until then, happy learning.